So I'm going to be talking about if slow playing in online poker is a bad strategy. Now, overall, you want to be an aggressive player. You don't want to be limping into hands with like big pocket pairs usually. Now, the thing is, in this session here on Bovada, I was playing with a table of like super hyper -aggr aggressive players. Um, and typically when you're trying to play against people who are like super aggressive and then you try to be more aggressive than them, it usually just doesn't work out well. So you have to adjust your play. So I was second to act here with pocket queens. I decided to limp into this hand with it, you know, hoping somebody was going to raise. And player five is going to end up, you know, juicing it up to like 25 bucks pre-flop. So um, at that point, I could have like re-raised it or just flat called. I am going to end up just flat calling to see the flop with the queens. Also, as I'm going over this, uh, you know, if you guys are looking for a great place to be playing, I do recommend Bovada. You know, I've been playing here for like years. So I'll throw some uh, bonus um, sign up and resource links in both the description and comments of this video. Also, I'm curious to know how you guys, you know, thought I played this one. Like I said, the only reason I was playing it like this was because uh, just of the aggressiveness of the table and uh, just trying to adjust with it. Okay, so eight, jack, four, um, totally a safe looking flop for pocket queens. Really not a whole lot to be afraid of here. Now, if he had a couple high cards, like an ace king uh, type of hand, maybe like an ace jack would be really good for us too because he would have hit a pair um or he could have like a pocket pair too but not really afraid of this flop you know at all and his bet right here was really strange because it was just so small he bet uh he raised 25 dollars pre-flop and then he's gonna bet 15 dollars into it which was just like you know what is what is that you know why are you only betting 15 bucks you know, if you're trying to like get somebody off a of hand and you put in such a small bet, like a continuation bet like that, it's a little bit ridiculous. Anyways, I just called it. I could have uh, obviously juiced up the pot a little bit right there, but I was hoping that he would take one more stab at it, you know, trying to bluff at it, which was what I was looking for. Uh, but that was a really safe card for us on the turn, the seven. So, you know, not, not really anything to be afraid of at this point. Uh, he is going to end up checking it over to us and you know there's no way like I was going to let another card come without trying to extract some value so you know I'm going to end up keeping it small because I didn't want to lose him I also wanted to make it look like maybe I was bluffing at it so I bet 25 bucks you know very friendly small bet um, and uh, yeah so he is going to end up making the call eventually i mean he really had to like think about this one i guess but uh and i'm not going to be able to see what he had unfortunately um but um you know i really thought i was betting this right you know because i i didn't want to lose my fish you know what i mean i wanted to keep him on my hook so i could reel him in and make a little bit of money Yeah, I mean, he was really tanking on this. Okay, finally he made the call, and then we had a seven on the river. So I was really not afraid of the seven at all. I mean, this board, uh, you know, clearly I know that I'm winning this hand, but I'm just trying to figure out, like, the right, the right bet sizing uh, to get this one, right? And I kept it small because I felt like there was no way he was going to make, like, a call of... 50 75 100 dollars you know what i mean uh i just wasn't feeling that so i wanted to really make it look like i was bluffing at it and i felt like this was the right amount like i said i just didn't think that i just didn't i just kind of knew i wasn't gonna get a lot out of this so i was just trying to make as much money as i could with this one but uh anyway slow playing in online poker guys you know typically i would never recommend it the only time it, it works i guess is when you're playing with a bunch of really aggressive players anyways hope you guys enjoyed this and we'll see you in the next one